Dear brothers and sisters in the Lord, I'm pleased to give you the account of my stewardship for the year ending 2023. Apostle Samuel Jehu Obobi, the General Secretary, Apostle Emmanuel Ajimamba Queen, the International Missions Director, members of the Executive Council, Apostle Professor Poko Nina, our immediate past chairman, Apostles, Prophets, Evangelists, National and Area Heads, Distinguished Delegates of the Elim Pentecostal Churches, UK, Delegates of our two autonomous nations, Benin and Ivory Coast, Ministry Directors and Coordinators, Ministers of the Church, Trustees of our Great Church, Chairmen of Committees and Boards, Retired ministers here present, the press, counselors, invited guests, ladies and gentlemen. Praise the Lord. On behalf of the Executive Council, I welcome you to the opening ceremony of the 18th session of the Extraordinary Council Meetings of the Church of Pentecost. It is an honor to have all of you here. I would like to extend a warm welcome to Reverend Harold Aflu and Reverend Blunt, who are here representing our sister church in Elim Pentecostal churches in UK. We are deeply grateful that you could make time to be with us today. Additionally, I would like to warmly welcome Apostle Professor Pokunina, our immediate past chairman, and other retired principal officers who are in attendance says you are welcome to our revered national heads and missionaries who have traveled from far and near to join in this meeting we extend warm welcome to you dearly beloved in the lord it is a great pleasure that i express my heartfelt gratitude to our lord for his abundant grace and mercies towards his church I also like to extend my sincere appreciation to the members of the Executive Council for the unwavering support and dedication to the church during the period under review. Your contributions, brothers, have been invaluable and instrumental in advancing our mission and vision as a church. Brothers, I'm deeply grateful for your support. We appreciate the selflessness and the commitments of our area, regional, and national heads, missionaries, directors, and coordinators of, of ministries, ministers of the church, the trustees, chairpersons, and members of boards and committees. Your labor of love will never be in vain. The management and staff of the headquarters and the various administrative areas of the church are also highly appreciated for their commitment to duty. We also recognize the loyal support of our gallant officers and entire members of the Church of Pentecost to the cause of the vision of the church. Dearly beloved, God in his unfailing love for the church in the year under review continued to raise individuals who, motivated by their deep love for God, and the church generously supported the church in various ways to advance its cause. These persons included those who fervently offered intercessory prayers for the church in their closest and at various prayer sessions organized throughout the church. This prayer support has been instrumental in strengthening the church's resolve to possess the nations for our Lord. Many others also supported the church financially. Some single-handedly put up church buildings, acquired plots of lands, and purchased vehicles for the church. Others also made significant cash donations to support various church interventions. Among these are elders, Elder Dr. Joseph Siam of Japan from Teshinungwa area, who is a group chairman of the Jospon Group of Companies. Elder Dr. Nana Samoa Mutobin from La Area, who serves as the group chairman 
of the Tobinko group of companies, Apostle Abet Amwa retired from Cape Coast area. And now he generously gave us something that really baffled all of us. Apostle, God bless you. Elder Prince Amwa from Hacho area. Elder Papa Asma from Kaswa. Elder David Owusu Yin to me from Tamale area. Dickness Honorable Dickness Mrs. Eunice Esumahini from Teshi Nungwa area. Elder Patrick Dansu of Kanishi. Elder Dr. Nana K. Jesse from Swami area. Elder Phyllis Atrim from Odoko area. Elder Martin Dahl from Ashama area. Mr. Joseph Enki from Obuasi area. Dickness Sarah Ajay from Kwadasu area. And many more brethren in that time and space will not allow us to mention their names. May the Lord bless all of us. The invaluable contribution of these individuals and you sincerely are sincerely appreciated. May the Lord of the church continue to cause them and all of us to flourish in all, in all our endeavors to the glory of his name. Amen. Now I want to turn to the state of the church proper. I will begin from the headquarters administration. As of December ending 2023, there was a total of 453 non-ministerial head, headquarters staff on the official payroll of the church. They comprised 229 employees at the area offices and 224 at the head office. By the grace of God, 24 workers joined the workforce while four retired during the reporting year. The retired are as follows. Macmillan Anan Ado, he served for 39 years. Ebenezer Enimi Renchi, he also served for 31 years. Alex Quay did 25 years. Paul Ziga also did 9 years. We thank God for their lives and service to the church and wish them a good rest in their retirement. Now let us turn our attention to some statistics. We'll look at the Church of Pentecost global analysis. Field personnel. As of December 2023, the total number of ministers worldwide stood at 3,405 with 116 serving as missionaries. Of this number, 1,933 are ministers in Ghana. The church also had 165,345 officers, comprising 53,762 elders, 36,088 deacons, and 75,000 495 deaconesses. Brothers and sisters, your invaluable contribution towards our shared mission as a church are truly appreciated. By December 2023, the Church of Pentecost had established its presence in 170 countries across the globe. This figure includes Ghana. The church had a total membership of 4,534,644, which marked a 7.9% increase from the previous year. This compares favorably to the 7.7% growth witnessed in 2022. I would like to now focus on the church in Ghana as of December 2023. Membership. The church in Ghana experienced a notable membership growth of 7.7%, resulting in a total membership of 3,864,355 as of December 2023. This represents a significant proportion of the 2023 estimated Ghanaian population of 
985. If the church's membership accounting for 11.3% of the Ghanaian population. We acknowledge the grace of God for this remarkable progress. And our sincere prayer is that our growing numbers will continue to contribute to the realization of our mandate to transform every sphere of society with values and principles of the kingdom of God. As we unleash the whole church for this purpose, it is worth noting that as of December 2023, the children and youth membership of the Church of Pentecost in Ghana comprise 76% of the church's total membership base. Operational resource. In 2023, brothers, the church embarked on 361,247 evangelistic outreaches, which won 315,704 souls for the Lord. Notably, 221,663 of the souls won, representing 70%. 70.2 percent of the total was baptized were baptized in water representing 5.9 percent increase over that of 2022 during the reporting period the church of pentecost opened 546 new assemblies in ghana while this is a remarkable achievement it does represent a decrease of 15.5 percent compared to the previous year Though admittedly, the church has seem, seemingly exhausted the available spaces for planting new churches in Ghana due to the vast expanse it already covered, there is still the need to increase our effort to reach out to the lost. Additionally, 75 districts were created within the same period, bringing the total local assemblies in Ghana to 19,332 and 1,706 districts out of the, as of December 2023. Furthermore, by the grace of God, one new administrative area, Doma Hinkro, was created, bringing the total number of administrative areas in Ghana to 77. All these successes have come about due to the commitment of our members to the cause of the gospel. For example, Dickness Rhoda Esibe Bonsu, a nurse from Ofinsu Obuasi district in the Ofinsu area, single handedly won 170 souls, of which 162 were baptized in water. Shall we put our hands together for the Lord? Um, she is a nurse and she is possessing her spheres and even going beyond that. 170 souls, one person. And then 162 of them are baptized. Uh, I think you, you, are, you have to begin to think how many souls you will give the Lord. If all of us are able to give 10, 10, 10, can you imagine heaven will rejoice? Elder Isaac Bauer from Michelle Camp District in the Ashama area won 50 souls with 40 already baptized in water. Many of these new converts won by Elder Bauer, I'm informed, were struggling with substance abuse issues such as smoking weed and alcoholic alcohol addiction. Now, Dickness Dickens Charles Adai from Tema Greenwich Meridian District won 77 souls with 64 baptized in water. Shall we put our hands together for these brothers and sisters? We extend our highest commendation to these dedicated members for their outstanding efforts in the service of the Lord. Now we look at the ministry's performance, children's ministry. As of December 2023, the total membership of children 
was 1,199,409 with 1 million and in 1 million 11,028 outstanding children ministry classes. During this period, the ministry organized its second edition of the Foundation Builders Conference, which over 950 COP and non-COP children workers participated. The Jetro Initiative, introduced in 2022, is currently running in 75 of the 77 areas of the church in Ghana. The Community Children's Club concept is making a significant impact in communities within 76 areas of the church with 3,093 clubs. All of these initiatives, inspired by Vision 2023, have significantly contributed to equipping children to contribute to the possessing the nation's agenda. Fellow counselors, Pastor Professor Otu Ellis, the director of the children's ministry, ends his directorship after four years of meritorial service to the church. During this, these years, Pastor Professor Ellis has served with excellence and dedication. He's really been an example of a good Christian. On behalf of the Executive Council, I extend our heartfelt appreciation to him for his astounding service to the church. The Executive Council would also like to thank him and his family for building and donating a children's resource center to the church. Um, Reverend Prof, where are you? We have seen your picture, but we want to see your face. Uh, yes, please rise. Shall we put our hands together for this great man of God? The wife is here. Mama, where are you? Uh -huh. Shall we do it for them? God bless you so much. Pastor Professor Otu Ellis, may the Lord bless you and all that is yours. And may he remember you and your descendants forever. Amen. Youth Ministry. In the year on the review, the youth ministry successfully developed and launched two new devotional guides, namely the Teens Devotional Guide and the School's Atric Ministry Devotional Guide. In addition to developing the School's Atric Ministry Handbook, the youth ministry made efforts to expand the base of Pensa Ghana conferences to both tertiary and pre-tertiary levels, which resulted in a record record-breaking number of participants. The Shekinah pre tertiary Conference recorded 22,239 participants from 421 satellite centers nationwide. On the other hand, the Pensa Ghana Conference recorded 4,893 participants from three centers, PCC, KNUST, and UDS centers and campuses. To the glory of God, the ministry engaged in several activities during the period under review, which sought to strengthen the ministry at all levels of the church, and more importantly, to reposition the church for maximum impact. Now, as of December 2023, the church had a total the, let me turn to the women's ministry, sorry. As of December 2023, the women's ministry had a total adult female membership of 1,599,238, of which 815,322 were active members. 
the women's ministry's TV program, The Complete Woman, which is a favorite of many, continue to air on Pain TV every Saturday. The director organized a three-day residential conference at Pentecost Convention Center with 3,200 young women in attendance. The conference provided skills set training to unemployed young women and those who desire to have multiple streams of income. Various activities and programs designed to promote the holistic growth of women and the girl child were held at all levels of the church. The ministry also celebrated various occasions, such as the International Day of the Girl Child, May Day, World Malaria Day, and Mother's Day at all levels of the church. Now, Pentecost Men's Ministry, Pemem. The Pentecost Men's Ministry during the period committed itself in equipping its members to advance the possessing the nation's agenda in their various spheres of influence. The total adult male mem membership from 13 years and above for 2023 stood at 1,073,393, of which 436,492 436, were active members. The active membership of the ministry increased by 12%. In May 2023, the directorate organized the Fit Bizelai Conference, which had the team repositioning men for maximum impact, building on the legacy of the fathers. The conference helped to awaken men to the importance of preserving the positive legacies passed down by the Afrobans and to develop viable approaches to impact future generations. Now, evangelism ministry. The evangelism ministry implemented various evangelism strategies across the nation. These efforts led to 335,637 decisions made for Christ with 190,270 individuals receiving the baptism in the Holy Spirit. Shall we put our hands together for this great feat? Furthermore, 509 new local assemblies were established as a result of these outreaches. Mega crusades were held in Ho, Kumasi, Kumasi Municipal, Asankegua, Tema Ashama areas, these events were characterized by numerous miracles attesting to God's presence with us. Dear fellow counselors, it is worth noting that Apostle Dr. Amos Jimmy Markin, the director of the evangelism ministry, also brings his directorship to an end in this meeting. <laughs> I think your all says it all. If you like, we can let him continue to Jesus comes. <laughs> Over the course of his eight years of meritorious service, we have witnessed an increased commitment to evangelism outreaches, coupled with large-scale mega crusades in Ghana and beyond. Apostle, we wish you all the best as you continue your noble ministry in a different capacity. May the Lord continue to bless you and your family for your faithful service. God bless. God bless. March forward. Boards and committees. The various boards and committees perform creditably well in their respective mandates. Their activities contributed immensely to the successful implementation of the Vision 2023 Agenda of the Church. On behalf of the Executive Council and the entire Church, I express our appreciation to all chairpersons and of committees and boards for providing good leadership. 
Let us now turn our attention to international missions or global missions. Number of nations. To the glory of God. The number of nations in which the Church of Pentecost operates outside the shores of Ghana increased from 150 at the end of 2022 to 169 in the reporting period. 19 new nations were added within the year 2023. So let's put our hands together. This can only be by the Lord. Yeah. Now, indicating a growth of 12.6%, these nations are Albania, Bermuda, Bolivia, East Timor, Gibraltar, uh, some of them, if I pronounce it anyhow, you take it. <laughs> some of them are frightening me. Gen C. Isles of Man, Isles of White, Jordan, Kyrgyzstan, uh, Kyrgyzstan. The others are Mongolia, North Macedonia. You see that the Macedonia in the Bible, we are already there. Papua New Guinea, Puerto Rico, Sam Samuel, tai Taiwan, Tajikistan and Virgin Islands in the Britons. Shall we do it better for the Lord? <laughs> See, by the end of December 2023, the church in the external nations had an overall membership of 670,289, representing an increase of 10.8%. The two autonomous nations, Cote d'Ivoire, and Benin accounted for 31% of the total membership in the external nations with a combined membership of 207,731. Vision 2023 inspired the planting of churches that are targeted towards meeting the specific needs of homogeneous groups in different nations by the grace of God. The, the initiative has successfully est established churches that catered for Indians, Spanish, and Pakistanian communities in countries such as Australia, the UK, the, um, the USA, and Dubai. We are pleased to report that these churches are thriving. Additionally, the church in Canada has successfully reached out to the Aborigines in their country. To God be all the glory. Our efforts to establish multicultural, multinational, multiracial churches in almost every major city across the various nations are showing positive results. This is part of our Vision 2023 agenda to bring our churches to the city center across the nations to the glory of God. In the period under review, our city churches in the Netherlands, Switzerland, the USA, UK, Cyprus, Australia, Indonesia, and other Western nations experience significant growth. The total number of assemblies in the external nations stood at 7,193, an increase of 5%, and the number of districts was 1,345 also representing an increase of 6.2%. The total number of ministers called to missions in 2023 was 32. Eight missionaries were also recalled to their various home countries. They are Apostle Samuel Apia Late. He spent 10 years in the UAE. Apostle Isaac Iraqua spent six years in Zimbabwe, Apostle Dr. Frank Esifi, six years in Guyana, Apostle Gabriel Pokami, six years in Guinea, Conakry, Apostle Charles Bwedi, seven years in 
Eswenia, Pastor Apak, Apaku Mac Masilin spent five years in Mor Morocco and Pastor Kwaku Masilin spent six years in Niger. Pastor Josephine John Sechi spent six years in Congo, Brazil. On behalf of the Church of Pentecost, I pray God's blessing upon these gallant soldiers and their families for their sacrificial service to his church. Shall we put our hands together for them? Now let's turn to the Church of Pentecost Higher Educational Institutions, Pentecost University. In 2023, Pentecost University established significant milestone in its research endeavors. In collaboration with its four partners, PU was awarded a prestigious four-year European Commission grant to conduct joint research in robot-based laser manufacturing of electric vehicle components. Moreover, Pentecost University received a three-year European Commission African Union Mobility Grant to offer master's and PhD training in advanced digital manufacturing in Africa. The total grant amounted awarded to PU, the total grant amount awarded to PU in 2023 was 630,000 euros. In terms of academic growth, Pentecost University introduced five unique undergraduate under, undergraduate engineering program and submitted four new MPhil PAD programs for accreditation. Five new master's programs were developed, and a doctor of herbal medicine program was also developed for accreditation. Internationally, Pentecost University hosted the Ghana Global STEM and Computing Education Summit, demonstrating PU's strong leadership in technology, education, and industrialization. In line with Vision 2023, 8,699 elders were trained in the higher certificate of in in line with vision 2023 8,699 elders were trained in higher certificate in theology and pastoral studies one sister minister's wife graduated from the Certificate in Christian Ministry Program and 667 ministers are currently enrolled in the BA Theology Program. The Birmingham Christian College. The Birmingham Christian College, BCC, maintains its commitment to delivering ministerial training and theological education for clergy and laity across Europe and the Middle East. In October 2023, a new satellite campus, the BCC Danhe Campus, Netherlands, was inaugurated. 641 students, including ministers and officers of the church, were actively engaged in various programs at the UK and the Netherlands campuses. In July 2023, the, officers, the Office for Students officially confirmed its decision to register Birmingham Christian College in the Register of English Higher Education Providers. This achievement represents a significant milestone and a notable enhancement to the college's reputation. Shall we put our hands together? This can only come from the Lord. Now let's turn our attention to our school in the USA, Pentecost Biblical Seminary. For many years, the seminary has been working hard to obtain an operating license from the New Jersey Board of Education and accreditation from the Accreditation Board of the Higher Education. We are pleased to announce that the school has received the final New Jersey Board Education pending approval and Accreditation Board has granted the initial application with an applicant status, a campus visit a schedule for august 2024 pentecost francophone theological bible school continue to work closely with pentecost university 
to establish to stabilize its contribution to theological and pastoral training among the African Francophones. During this period, the school successfully ran four training programs for ministers and wives. Now let us turn our attention to some highlights of the Vision 2023 interventions. Major interventions carried out under the Vision 2023 agenda in the year under review included but were not limited to the following home and urban missions by the grace of god 38,102 outreaches were carried out in the year under review with 43,308 souls won for the lord this comprises 37,017 adults 6,291 children the souls won were made up of 1,069 commercial sex workers, 2,584 street dwellers, 10,073 drug addicts, 15,877 northerners in the south, 1,777 migrants, 27 expatriates, 272 expatriates, as you say, 836 Fulanis, 163 Kotokolis, and 4,366 others. Shall we give a hand, put our hands together for the Lord? Now, a total of 19,255 people were baptized in water, representing 11.1% increase from the previous year. Additionally, 9,644 people received the Holy Spirit baptism. That is an increase of 5.6% over the previous year. In collaboration with Pentecost University, Home and Urban Mission established and launched the Pentecost Center for the Study of the Unreached People Groups, which has started running certificate programs. The National Fulani Convention was held in Tamale, which brought together 535 participants, including Fulanis, Kotokolis, Charles, Chakalis, and uh, other people groups. Home and Urban Missions Initiative also received significant attention in many external nations. For example, in Kenya, there is an establishment of Lanina Assembly in, in Nairobi, this initiative is the result of their efforts in reaching out to drug addicts, street children, and the urban poor. In Indonesia, the Home and Urban Mission conducted outreaches to the poor and homeless people living in slums. They also conducted outreaches to Ratan Salemba Prison in central Jakarta to S offenders community in Jakarta provided ministry to ex LGBTQ plus community leaders. Have you heard this thing before? Yeah. Now ministry to persons with disability. As of December 2023, 17,343 members with different forms of disability fellowship with the Church of Pentecost in Ghana. Out of the 3,666 souls won over the period, 1,856 were baptized in water. 889 members received the Holy Spirit baptism. The ministry commenced train, training sign language interpreters in Greater Accra, Ashanti region, Volta, and Oti regions. 80 participants are being trained to continue and interpret to the deaf in to communicate and interpret for the deaf in these regions in august 2023 the ministry collaborated with the journey and friends team to organize the real to the world mission events in sunyani the event donated 200 customized assertive devices to people with disability Additionally, 46 individuals accepted Jesus Christ as their Lord and Savior during the event. Schools Outreach Ministry. The Schools Outreach Ministry 
continue to grow under the care of the youth ministry. During the past year, the ministry won 37,637 souls, an increase of 103% compared to the 18,516 souls won in 2022. The school's outreach ministry conducted three campus takeover crusades at KNUSC, UD Estamale, Odogono uh, Secondary School, which resulted in 571 new souls being won for Christ. Pensa International. In 2023, Pensa International hosted the Maiden Pensa International Delegates Conference in Rwanda. Over 300 delegates from over 40 different nations actively participated, converging for a spirit-filled and impactful conference. Pensa International Evangelistic Efforts span various nations and regions, including Papua New Guinea, Rwanda, Lesotho, and Uganda. These mission outreaches and evangelistic activities converted 1,849 souls. Counseling Ministry. The Church of Pentecost Counseling Ministry continued to render services to the church public and beyond through Paint TV. The feedback and testimonies from viewers indicate that it is making significant impact on the lives of individuals. The ministry organized a basic counseling skills seminar for participants of the prayer center counselors, counselors training, which, let me take that again. The ministry organized a basic counseling skills seminar for participants from the prayer centers. It took place between 13th and 15th September in Kumasi at Broford. A total of 70 prayer center leaders participated in this seminar chaplaincy ministry reports from the areas and nations indicated that the chaplaincy ministry continues to gain a firm foothold in the ministry activities in the church in 2023 the chaplaincy ministry focused on chaplaincy in educational institutions prisons hospitals and other workplaces for the purposes of this report a few have been outlined below. Prison chaplaincy. The church in Ghana has been working towards the social reformation and rehabilitation of prisoners across the country. To achieve this, it has developed, deployed ministers as chaplains in various prison establishments nationwide. Six such chaplains represent the church at the prison headquarters the Nsawon Medium Security Prison, the Tamale Central Prison, the Obuasi Local Prison, the Takwa Local Prison, and the Nigeria Camp Prison. During the reporting year, several evangelistic activities were organized in the prison and police cells. As a result, 2,518 individuals accepted Christ in prison and 486 in prison cells, making a total of 3,004. Among these converts, 790 inmates were baptized by immersion. And then listening to this, 233 received the baptism of the Holy Ghost. Yeah. Sometimes God has to orchestrate you to be there, to be born again. Regarding rehabilitation programs, 358 inmates have been enrolled in the Skills Acquisition and Rehabilitation Center at Ejira and in Saom Camp Prison. Additionally, the church paid the fines of 38 inmates with default warrants and took them through a reorientation program at PCC here from 6 to 9 December 2023 before allowing them to go home. And if you were here, you come and see prisoners who are receiving the Holy Spirit baptism and thanking God. Uh, they couldn't pay their fines. We had to pay for them and then plead for them to be released. 
in the uk the prison ministry established in january 2022 in partnership with prison fellowship uk has been conducting services in prison and running the angel tree project which allows incarcerated parents to send christmas gifts to their children chaplaincy to security services the church in ghana has eight chaplains including seven commissioned ministry officers and one civilian chaplain these chaplains are serving with the ghana armed forces and are currently deployed across various barracks nationwide two ministers of the church have undergone training and have been commissioned as police chaplains additionally one custom officer is currently undergoing ministerial training at the pentecost school of theology and mission of pentecost university to be commissioned as a chaplain for the custom service of the ghana revenue authority to god be all the glory the national chaplaincy committee in the united states of america continuing with its efforts to expand its chaplaincy services across the nation the establishment of military-based churches is playing a significant role in enhancing the chaplaincy ministry within the u.s army in guinea bissau the national head and his team continue to provide chaplaincy services to the ghana troops of the ECOWAS stabilization force in the uk pastor wiseborn ajari has been trained by the west midlands police to offer voluntary chaplaincy service to the west midland police officers and their civilian counterparts hospital chaplaincy in 2023 the church received approval for Kolebut training hospital teaching hospital and konfanochi teaching hospital to send chaplains to minister in the two teaching hospitals in this council meeting we shall have two of our ministers seconded to these two institutions <laughs> ministry to chieftaincy institution as of december 2023 4497 traditional leaders were members of the church now these included 118 paramount chiefs that is a huge number 135 paramount queen mothers 228 divisional chiefs 343 sub-divisional chiefs 267 queen mothers and 3406 other traditional leaders during the period under review 3338 souls were won through the chieftaincy ministry activities across the church in ghana now you see chiefs going out on rallies and mounting crusades hallelujah to god be all the glory they were able to win and baptize eight and baptize 1549 in water as of december 2023 the ministry had established 2225 chaplaincy units in the palaces and the various areas where regular chaplaincy activities are carried out it is again gratifying continue to be very instrumental in helping to settle chieftaincy disputes in some communities that resulted in a dispute between two communities causing a halt in the construction of a bridge between them had been resolved it has been resolved <laughs> in an engaging the two communities traditional leaders the district pastor and the chieftaincy ministry settled this dispute amicably to the glory of god through their pragmatic steps in the cape coast area abakrampa districts 
in collaboration with other para churches, settled a chieftaincy litigation dispute, which had existed for 15 years in the Abra traditional area. This has finally led to the instrument of a new Abra on my Abra or Mahini for the traditional area. Reports indicate that the church is gaining respect and contributing to the traditional leadership in communities through the chieftaincy ministry. And let's turn attention to our social economic development through pencils. The church continue to initiate various social development projects in line with the Vision 2023 agenda. Government for the nation's socioeconomic development, education. As of, as of the end, as at December 2023, a total of 103 basic schools, two senior high schools, and two vocational training a total of 35,468 and a staff strength of 2,184 operated across the country under the auspices of PENSOS. In the period under review, the PENSOS Secretariat received approval from Ghana Education Service to establish the Pentecost Education Unit. In, the, in 2023, the various districts, areas, and ministries in Ghana, together with the headquarters, spent $40,281,540.13 pesos to sponsor the educational pursuits of members of the church at various levels. These included 472,000 cities spent under the headquarters sponsored Pentecost Education Scholarship Scheme to tertiary, tertiary students outside Pentecost University. Thanks to this support, many brilliant yet financially challenged students had their dreams of higher education come through. One of such Asante from the Achimota area. Let's watch this. 2019 was my year where I completed senior high school and wanting to um, enroll in tertiary education, I chanced upon the Pentecost University advertisement from my church where they told us about the Pentecost University and the church's scholarship scheme that it enrolls for um, brilliant but needy students and then I chanced upon it and made inquiries about it and in that same year my elder sister and I were enrolling for the tertiary education coming in it was going to be a huge burden on the family and it was going to be a challenge for parents so the scholarship scheme came in and saved the day and today I stand here as a recently graduated University, all thanks to the Church of Pentecost. By the grace of God, my scholarship was a full coverage. I had my tuition fee covered, I had my hostel fee covered, we have other fees we pay, such as the academic user fee and the SRC dues. All of these were taken care of, and I had no struggle to um, think about financial debts on me or financial burdens on the family or my parents and studies went through successfully and to the glory of God everything went smoothly up to my graduation. The Pentecost Health Services Unit comprises 10 healthcare facilities, three hospitals and seven clinics. To the glory of God, a newly constructed community clinic in Abesiwa completed in 2023 was commissioned in 12, March 12, 2024, bringing the total number of health facilities to 11. 
These facilities provide quality health care service to people living in urban and rural areas. The Pentecost Health Service Unit had a total staff strength of 1,124. Hired health facilities were under construction and at different stages of completion. The church spent $7,137,043.19 CDs on health care support for members at various levels of the church. In the year under review, the headquarters financed the drilling and mechanization of 30 boreholes across the Atebubu and Kintampo. five years, the church has provided 193 water facilities to deprived communities. These are towns and villages and schools. These facilities serve over 100,000 people. Now, security projects to foster peaceful, just, and inclusive society, free from fear and violence. The check through the projects, an estate department has embarked on projects such as the construction of correctional facilities and police stations as part of the Vision 2023 agenda. So far, the Jura and in some correctional facilities have been commissioned, while the facilities at Damango and Obuasi are near completion. I'm glad to announce that the Damango facility will be in June. Additionally, a police station for Ghana police service had been constructed at Kawampe in Kintampo area and is expected to be commissioned this year. It has been completed in 2023, but will commission it this year. Now, let's look at our finances. The headquarters increase income increased by 25.68% and 39.99% respectively when compared against the budget and income for 2022. Let's, let's put our hands together and bless the Lord for this. Yeah. Please, through the UACB, UACB grants contribution to, the, to providing decent accommodation for many of our local assemblies and ministers. Sectors such as the Pentecost University, the Pentecost Convention Center, Pent Media Center, Pentecost Hospital Medina, Pentecost TV, also receive financial support for operational efficiency. I would like to commend the board and management of Pentecost Press Limited for their impressive achievement of winning themselves from the head of head office grant over the past three years. So press, bravo. We are praying for the rest. Now, miracles. We thank God for them, for manifesting his continuous presence in his church through diverse signs and wonders. In 2023, the church recorded many miracles by the power of the Holy Spirit. Blind eyes were opened, the paralyzed walked, cancerous cells were healed, couples were blessed with children after many years of marriage among the purpose of this address. I would like to just bring four to the four. Miss Priscilla Adai Amponsim, a 29-year-old nurse unmarried, and a member of the Church of Pentecost underwent a miraculous healing that restored her womb after it has been removed. In 2020, while working on a night shift, she experienced bleeding and, later, and was later diagnosed with cervical cancer. She received 
treatment for six months and had to undergo surgery to remove her womb, which had been damaged. During February 2023, revival prayers at El Shaddai Revival Center, Konongo, she fell into a trance and had a dream that she had been given three parcels. When she returned home, her mother informed her that she, the mother, had also dreamt of her having a baby and thanked God for it, even though she knew that the plight of the daughter. Her mother encouraged her to check on her womb, even though the mother knew it had been removed. To Priscilla's surprise, the scan at the hospital indicated that she had a womb. She, she also testified that she had experienced her menstrual period after several years of not menstruating. Madame Riga of the church in Brazil, who had earlier been diagnosed of cancer, was declared cancer-free after the church had prayed for her during a half-night service. In the follow-up exam, examination, there were no cancer cells in her body. Elder Samuel and Dickness, Dr. Mrs. Eraba in, in Cancer City of PIWC Sakumono gave birth after 20 years of marriage through consistent prayer. At Femua District in Tumu area, Brother Eric Kukjir, a native of Femua who had been suffering from mental illness for the past seven years and was restrained by chains, were healed, was healed instantly. On Wednesday, May 10, 2023, a family member brought him to the women's ministry morning prayers. Following the prayer session, Eric's mental illness vanished and he was freed from his chains. We give thanks and praise to God forever. Let's turn to pastoral training, leadership, and development, and scholarship. The church continued to build staff capacity with in-service training programs sponsored entirely by the church. Nine ministers are being sponsored for, the PhD, for their PAD programs. Some are missionaries and also continue to receive support for further theological training in accredited institutions. Since the last council, brothers and sisters, to the glory of God, the following ministers have successfully completed their PhD and other doctoral programs. Apostle Dr. Samuel Gapetto of Agomenia, Apostle Dr. Michael Amuakwajimai of USA, Apostle David Nyansa Hefron of Tanzania, a Pastor Dr. Kofi Atakrai Biafi of Achimota area, Pastor Dr. Patrick Tete Kudiaj of Odoko area and Pastor Dr. Emmanuel Awuzi of Kasua area. Brothers, congratulations. Now some challenges. Despite the many challenges chopped in the year under review, the church still battles some challenges such as than ineffectiveness of discipleship interventions such as Bible study, home cell meetings, and Sunday school classes continue to hamper, continue to be hampered by the high level of illiteracy and rural in the rural areas. The absence of members, sorry, the absence of means of transport such as motorcycles for easy visitation of local assemblies in the rural areas and mission areas continue to impede pastoral care in some of our churches. Migration of members, especially the youth, from rural areas to urban centers to seek greener pastures due to unemployment remained. Poor attendance at evening service persisted especially in the urban centers. Despite the massive investment in the infrastructure development from the headquarters through the AIDF, UACB, CBCB grants, they continue 
this. Coupled with poor economic conditions in some districts, continue to leave us with high infrastructure deficit. The 2023 infrastructure analysis revealed that 2,948 of Ghana's 19,322 assemblies, equivalent to 15%, do not have places of worship of their own. As a means of addressing these challenges that have been identified, Vision 2028 has outlined several measures to tackle them. These measures include, but not limited to the following, reducing the number of assemblies assigned to pastors in the urban centers to enable effective discipleship and pastoral care as people migrate down to the south, providing audio Bibles and Bible study projects in the areas to address the low literacy rates in some of our assemblies. I members in our rural areas training centers, micro agro processing more resources to infrastructure development especially in pensions notwithstanding. I continue to urge all stakeholders and district ministers to continue to devise measures in their respective jurisdictions that can complement the efforts of the head office as you continue to help us. Now, home call of ministers and wives. The Lord has called home some ministers and ministers, some ministers, ministers' wives and widows, including our beloved past chairman, Apostle Dr. Michael Kwabna, into me. Since the last General Council meeting in May 2022. In all humility, may I ask that we stand to observe a mini silence in honor of our departed brethren. May their precious souls rest in peace. Amen. Let us continue to pray for their families, they loved behind, that the Lord will continue to sustain them. Now, retirement of ministers, Ghana and external. After years of serving the Lord and his church, some of our ministers will retire from active service this year. It is my singular honor to present them as follows. Now, if you hear your name, you please uh, walk upstage with your wife, and then we will want to give you the needed recognition. Apostle Derek Kweni Mreku, who served for 38 years, Apostle Ibuadu Antoine of Burkina Faso served for 36 years. Apostle Frederick Kweku Ando Asimfosu served for 34 years. Apostle Kenneth Bafo Enchi Ejoso served for 32 years. Apostle Seth Kweku Asumeni Akimoda served for 31 years. Apostle Daniel, Apostle Dr. Daniel Ochiwoka Takwa served for 31 years. Apostle Samuel Yao Enki, 30 years. Apostle Sam Ajiman Tebi, Italy, served for 28 years. Apostle Ajay Jamra Ali, 
five years. Apostle Emmanuel Ofe and Krabedu Tema served for 24 years. Apostle Augustus Mate Asemno, USA, served for 22 years. Pastor Emmanuel Kwesi Ake, Maryland, uh, Mary Villa, sorry, La, served for 35 years. Asamoa, Aija Bompata, served for 34 years. Let's put our hands together for them. Asamoa is my mate. And he looks like he's the greatest of all of us. Since our school days, he has been our servant up to today. Yeah. Shall we put our hands together for all of them? Pastor John Kofi Afram. Sunyani Mridani, 32 years. Pastor Joseph Kwekudonko, Wasasi Mpatakwa, 31 years. One years. Pastor John Anaman, Obuasi Kwabra Fuso. 31 years. Pastor Samuel de Graft Anto, New Edubiasi, he served for 29 years. Pastor Joseph Kwame Agbemo, Tema, he served for 29 years, Committee 4. Pastor Kofi Aipa, and Kransa, he served for 29 years. Pastor Benjamin Kobna, Kobna Kumsin, Bremai, he served for 29 years. So maybe some of you should go up. Yeah, rather. Would that be okay? Yeah. Pastor Christopher Tete Mate, Asofan Achimota, 29 years. Pastor Joseph Amenya Intoso, Intoso Drapon Agomenya, 29 years. Let's put our hands together for these gallant men and women. Pastor George Kwesi Timinka Kasua CP, 29 years. Pastor Samuel Kojo Otin Ashtown, 8 years. Pastor Frederick Broom, Tuase. The Buakwa area, 26 years. Pastor Franklin M. Kwaku Ni Okaiman Kaneshi, 26 years. Pastor Princip Joseph Sefa Bwache, New Taifa, 26 years. Pastor Robert Kwaku Ziama Edukrum, 26 years. Pastor Ose Akoto, Pastor Ose Akoto, God Love, Nigeria, he served for 25 years. Pastor Michael K.K. Abunya, Mpuase Dansuman, he served for 24 years. Pastor Ahmed Annani Achampon, Kwekuma Sekendi, 24 years. Pastor Pegoma, Jian Burkina Faso, 
25 years. Pastor Dori Sibiri, Burkina Faso, 24 years. Pastor Francis K. Mawili Klu, Pokuase Achimota, 23 years. Pastor Paul Kujo Amwa Abelengpe, 23 years. Pastor Kofi Apieni Akosomo, 23 years. Pastor Richard Yaobuachi Anaji Takrade, 23 years. Pastor Ogesa Vincent, Kenya, 23 years. Pastor Solomon Kwache Adom, Germany, 19 years. Beloved, these gallant soldiers of the cross have served the Lord and the church very well. This will be their last official participation in our council meeting as counselors. Therefore, I kindly request that we honor and appreciate them with a standing ovation. Shall we rise and put our hands together? I would have loved to shake your hands one by one. But the queue is long. And my leg is aching. <laughs> and so if you, you, you wouldn't mind, I will do that of those in the front row. Unless some, the general second, the IMD, and some of the executive members, please help me with those at the back row. So I will try. God bless you. Bless you. Thank you so much. Bless you. Okay. Bless you. Ah. God bless you. 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 Then, God bless you. 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 My brother is not well, but he offered for a voluntary retirement because of the health. Shall we put our hands together for them and what they have done? And we shall find. Okay. While they are still standing, brothers and sisters in the Lord, ladies and gentlemen, 
and now declare the, the eighth session, session of the extraordinary council, council meeting, meeting of, of the Church of Pentecost formally opened. opened. I pray that the Lord of the church will lead us in all our deliberations. In Jesus' name, amen. Under normal circumstances, we will be praying for them. But this time, we want to ask.